Hi everyone, Mrs. Zirkus here. I am reading chapter 25 from Almost Super. Do you see that? I knew real fear in that moment. October could shock me with electricity. He could burn me with fire or lava. That's why he acted like he was in total control, because he was. Looking down, I desperately hoped that he'd somehow lost focus and drifted downward, that my muscles and bones could withstand a fall if I could pry myself away from him, maybe I'd have a chance. Too high. We were still too high. My mind raced, but I could think of nothing. October had me right where he wanted me. He could finish the job at any time. Staring at the ground below us, I noticed something looked out of place. At first, I couldn't figure out what, and then I saw it. Up here, the entire city was a grid. On that grid were little points of light just like on the battle maps I always used to form strategies. Some lights didn't move. Those must have been street lamps and house lights. Other lights, probably cars or trucks, crept slowly along the dark lines of the streets. At first glance, it was a little more than chaos, with lights moving every which way. But if you looked at it, if you really looked, you could see the pattern. There and there. Dozens of cars, maybe as many as 30, all moving from a single place and headed in the same direction. Moving from first dam toward the city dump. The Baileys and the Johnsons, true superheroes, were on their way to save the day. Do you see that? I asked. October looked down. I see nothing but a very long drop. The fear hadn't left me, but knowing that my family was on their way gave me courage. The Baileys, I said, and the Johnsons, superheroes, all of them coming to save us. I looked back up at October, coming to fight you. He looked down. I thought I saw a flicker of surprise, but then it was gone. Superheroes? The amusement was back in his voice. They are buffoons. October threw back his head and laughed. It was an ugly laugh, and the darkness amplified it. I think I like you after all, October said. I had a plan to execute tonight, and you got in the way. But here you've gone and gathered all the Baileys and the Johnsons to one place, just like I wanted. That makes it ever so convenient for me. This must be your way of asking for forgiveness. Looking back down at the city, I felt a tightness in my chest. My family and Juanita's were walking into a trap. I hadn't saved the day. I'd ruined it. My mind raced. There had to be something I could do. This time, all of our lives depended on it. But what could I do against a super super? If I had my power, I finally had my strength, but it wasn't enough. My power didn't make me super. I needed something more. It's not your power that makes you super. It's what you do with that power what you do with that power. I knew there was only one thing to do.